Hello everyone, I am Kanmani, Assistant Professor in Department of Civil Engineering at Briyaz Abdul Rahman Crescent Institute of Science and Technology. Today we are going to see GIS Laboratory Exercise 6 under the course CEC 4106 just and its applications. The title of Exercise 6 is Generation of Contours from Digital Elevation Model in QGIS. Now we will see the introduction about Digital Elevation Model. Digital elevation model is a 3D representation of a terrain surface commonly for a planet, moon or asteroid. It is called as a DEM. DEM can be represented as a raster surface, a grid of squares. It consists of rows and columns with pixel values. It is also known as the height map. Elevation shading or digital elevation models are typically represented as a raster data. Each pixel color provides the uh, value which is associated with that particular pixel. The DEM, here in DEM, the pixel color represents the elevation data or height value. DEM is represented in terms of a gray color image. It ranges from white to black. The lower color or lighter color represents the lower elevation. I mean the white color represents the lower elevation. The darker the color, the black, which represents the higher elevation. Now we will see the step by step procedure to perform exercise 6. So in Crescent LMS I have uploaded an input file for this exercise 6. Under your section GIS laboratory GIS input data. Under the GIS laboratory input data I have uploaded the dem.zip file. Just download this file, copy and paste it in your exercise 6 input. Before that, go to your RRN, exercise, create a new folder, exercise 6. Under the exercise 6, you create two more new folders. One is input, one is output. Under the input, now you copy dem.zip file in this folder. Now you unzip this file. Now this is the input file we are going to use it for exercise 6 to generate a contours from them. Now you launch QGIS. In QGIS add raster layer click. Go to your RRN folder. Exercise 6 input go to them then open. So this is the input file. Today we are going to use it for exercise 6. From this dim we are going to generate a contours, a 10 meter interval contour and 50 meter interval contours are going to generate. The next one is how we are going to generate a hill shading from this dim file. There are two steps in this. First one is a generation of contours. Next one is generation of hill shading effect. For that, go to raster, extraction, click contour. Input file as it is dim, it is already displayed in your uh, QGIS display. Output file, you select a folder, go to your RRN folder, exercise 6. Under the output file, you create contour 10 meters. Then save. Interval between contour lines, you make it as 10. Kindly check this attribute name so that the elevation data will be stored in your attribute file. Click OK. It will take some time since it covers the larger study area automatically the processing time will be more for 10 meters contour.
processing completed click ok click ok now click close now this is your 10 meters contour interval for this dim file so i already told the lighter color having a higher elevation the black color will shows your lower elevation now we will generate a contour 50 meters contour go to raster menu extraction contour now select output file contour 50 meters then save now here make it as contour interval as 50 give attribute name elev click ok 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 then click close now we have created a 50 meters contour interval if you want to change the color style or color pattern you just go to click the properties change the color click apply ok this is your 50 meters contour interval the first step is over the second step is to make a fill shading effect go to raster analysis dim terrain models click this button input file dim you click output file as hill shading save more kindly check the mode you default it will be hill shade make it this otherwise you check that as a hill shade click ok click close now this is a hill shading effect this is the hill shading effect output raster data it represents with the shadow effects this is the end of exercise 6 now go to your RRN folder exercise 6 output you will be having a three different output files one is a contour 10 meters contour 50 meters and hill shading effect in tiff image you just zip all the three files And rename this zip file as your RRN underscore exercise 6. Exercise 6. Now copy this folder or upload this output file in crescent LMS. Thank you.